Yoshi Unleashed starts now from LA. Stay tuned. Welcome everyone to Yoshi Unleashed with Yoshi Tatsu. I am one of your co-hosts, Lee Walker, and I am joined from KWK with Sean, and we Hi have guys. our host, Yoshi Tatsu. Happy holidays, everyone, and season beatings, if I might add, as we have a coming of the end of 2023. Yoshi, you're live in LA right now. Yeah. Uh, and looking like a red lobster. Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> For those of you listening to the podcast, uh, Yoshi Tatsu has a tan. Yeah, I got a tan. Yeah. If, if you keep that tan on, it'll be funny when you go to Shenzhen. Like, you, okay. know, you know, your opponent is so white. Pale. It's yeah. so, well, he's white. So, you know, he's yeah. so pale. And, mm. and we'll get to that. We'll get to that more on later. But, you know, okay. but, but, yeah. You 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 look I don't know, man. I mean, you know, that, that blonde bit that you have with yeah. the tan. I, I don't know. The, the color don't don't match somehow. Really? What do you think? Yeah. What 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 do you think, Lee? No, I, I don't think the color match. I'm I'm just shocked and happy with Yoshi having a tan, to be honest with you. But I mean, also the fact that it was just really sunny for him a minute ago. I thought he was going to have to actually wear the shades. <laughs> He's just bragging about the sunshine. Yeah. Because we both, Lee, you and I are in like what? Both like mm -hmm. cold fronts, cold places. And he's like in a really sunshiny hot spot. So. It is 527 where I am and it is pitch black. Oh, well, really? It's, it's it's six. Very... It's it's half past six in the morning where I am right now, and even with the heating on, I'm still I'm still freezing my ass off. So, oh there. really? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Oh boy. So why, guys, I gotta ask. Why, why you but... why you smile? I looks goofy. You always goofy. What the hell are you talking no about? No way. Okay. <laughs> Good, very good, okay. much better, much better. Still <laughs> like a lobster. Yeah, you know, so guys, I'm very, very excited to be uh, have contracts Dojas and Otani and Yamamoto. You know, the pitcher. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. That's why I'm doing. Get I'm very big uh, Yeah, I'm very happy. Dojas will be world champion this year, uh, next year. Mm. Yeah. Tell him to share that 700 mil with you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's get into okay. talk business. <laughs> Sorry, I cut your conversation. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Mm. Your, 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 your cat is, is really clingy on you right now, huh? Yeah, yeah he's, uh, he thinks he's Frankie right now, and I'm Coco Beware. <laughs> Coco yeah. Lee Walker. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna let it ride till he decides he's gonna jump off. But um, anyway, you good, bud? Okay. <laughs> so, so let's so uh, let let's talk some wrestling news. Okay, Sean and and Yoshi. There's a yep. lot of big stuff happening right now in uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. I'm gonna yeah. share my screen here for you guys. And Sean, I'm gonna let you take over. You are uh, yeah. way better with New Japan Pro Wrestling than I am. I mean, you know, we haven't been we, we haven't done the show for for a week because you know Yoshi has been back in L.A. But you know, we thought you know we have to talk about this because it's a big management change. Yeah, you know, from from you know your your good friend uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi, it's yeah. now. 
the president and also the representative director. Whereas um, before, um, Obadi and Nishizawa, mm. who who I actually met, I think, what was it, like 17 years ago? Yeah. At the New Japan office, believe it or not. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, both of them are stepping down. And this yeah, is I, a shocker. Yeah. I was surprised you know Nishizawa-san. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. Well, that's why I got introduced to Nishizawa-san. But mm. I was I was really shocked about the whole management change. Mm. I mean, to you know, to your knowledge, Yoshi, which yeah. you obviously have have more knowledge than I do, since you mm. used to work there. Um, how is Tanahashi moving to become the president? Mean for New Japan? Yeah, of course, the New Japan's image. Yeah, it's getting better. Okay. When Tanahashi uh, became New Japan president, because I saw many comments or many SNS, no many people say no, no good. So every, yeah, almost everybody like cheer and celebrate Tanahashi becoming to president. So it's a good news. So does that mean, does that mean, because it has been so many years since mm. a wrestler mm. took over as the president of the company? I think the mm -hmm. last time someone that was a wrestler in control of a company as, in control of New Japan, rather, as the president was uh, Sakaguchi. And the Fujinami was... I, oh, Fujinami was as well, yeah. yeah. So Fujinami quit our uh, president in 2004. Yeah. Right. So the, it's like nine years, after nine years. Yeah. That I became, yeah, became New Japan president. When I was uh, coming in New yeah. Japan, so Fujinami Sao was president. So, yeah. I I come in I came in New Japan two thousand two. So like two years Fujinami yeah. san was uh New Japan president. Yeah, so mm, but it's nineteen years. Nineteen years rather, right? Nineteen so, years, yeah. Yeah, so that that's a long time. Mm. Um but how would that be similar or different now that Tanahashi becomes the president comparing to say Fujinami or Sakaguchi when they were president because oh. you have to understand right now you mm -hmm. know it wasn't like in the in the days before where you know the wrestler had full control of the company they now they still have to answer to uh, Bushiro which is mm -hmm. the parent company yeah. So, do you think Tanahashi will have, um, a, you know, the power to, to, you know, to oversee everything New Japan? Or he may not really have that power and still have to answer to Bushiro? Uh, he will get power later. But so far, yeah, same as, looks like same as Inoki-san, Sakaguchi-san, and Fujinami-san. So okay. Tanahashi doesn't know how to manage the this big company so far, right now. So mm -hmm. he needed to uh, grow up for like manage, management, manage, mm -hmm. managing big company. So he needed to yeah learn and study how to manage so if he doesn't change yeah same as Fujinami same as Sakaguchi same as you know so but 
he's smart. Tanahashi is smart. The, yeah, he will yeah, another type of mm. yeah, wrestler president, I think. And I hope. Do do you think he will have a better say in terms of using talent? Or would that be like, you know, this is all Gato's job and stick with, you know, just Gato's booking? Mm, I have no idea, but yeah, he will little by little get in power mm -hmm. then he will change everything. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And and it, it also comes in a time where you know, a lot of the top talents are, are either on their way to leave New Japan mm. and you know, it has let's be honest, this year for New Japan has been pretty negative. You know, in 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 a yeah, sense so. where in a sense where you know top talents were leaving, Jay White's gone, Ibushi was gone. Mm. Um, you know now, uh, um, uh, right now Will Osprey has dual contract, mm. and it looks like Okada is on his way out as well. And and you know, um, Shibata has just suddenly signed with AEW, mm. and I want I want to talk a little bit about. Shibata before we get back into this whole New Japan stuff. Um, Shibata suddenly signs with AEW mm. because he he was at one point the, the head of the LA Dojo. Mm. And, you know, which to my knowledge is not really far from, from your LA home. Um, mm. But, you know, for him to suddenly just leave like that, does that mean he was already having issues with New Japan previously because New Japan did not want him to wrestle? Because there was news that came out before that yeah. Shibata wanted to wrestle so bad, but New Japan didn't want him to wrestle because of his alleged brain surgery. Yeah. He opened, opened the yeah, brain, head. Yeah. He, so but, I think it's but, dangerous. Yeah, but but what does that mean for AEW though? Like, you know, mm. and 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 Lee, you, you should chime in on this one too. And and it seems like AEW has way less regarded for rest of safety. We've seen so many injuries of, of AEW this last year that that is absolutely insane like broken ankles like you know concussions and, and things like that it's been insane so for shibata to go into the environment like aw right now you know it has to be absolutely dangerous for him and he still took it like if if you were in Shibata's spot, okay, would you would you want to wrestle? Still, no, I don't want to wrestle with him because, uh, yeah, something happens. Yeah, yeah, it's very dangerous. Yeah, I mean, I don't know much about the law, but you know, if if Shibata, you know, something happens to him. You know, it yeah. it's very it's very possible that you know someone may be charged with something. Yeah, like it, it. Yeah, so so that's that's pretty damn dangerous. Yeah, I think many wrestlers doesn't want to wrestle with him. You know, what in New Japan. Uh, AEW too, I think, because it's kind of dangerous. You know? Yeah, but but if, you know, seems like Tony Khan is like really our, high on him. Yeah, if our match, something yeah. happen, yeah, you know, mm. it's a 
just accident, but mm. it can yeah. turn into something serious, and yeah. it will it will make AEW liable as well because they sign him knowing his condition. Yeah, like it, but, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, Japanese wrestling companies have, as far as I know. Are very tall tolerant with injuries mm. already, but mm. you know, and New Japan still did not want Shibata to wrestle. That's mm. that's a sign. Yeah, so he's good wrestler. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, many wrestler doesn't want to wrestle with him. Yeah, very yeah. risky. Yeah, it's it's extremely risky. Um, risky. Um, to, yeah, so so that that's the part that I feel really shocked. But you know, let's get back to to um, New Japan for a bit. Do you mm. think that right now, with the what I'll say an exodus right now, with you know, like I said, with Shibata, who we mentioned earlier, will Osprey got to a contract. Okada mm. on his way to leave New Japan. Mm. And along with the fact that we have already seen New Japan losing Jay White and Ibushi, let's not forget about Juice Robinson too. So, you know, quite, quite a lot of guys left New Japan this year. Mm. And many were like top names. Do you think uh, putting mm. Tanahashi as the president is something that that for New Japan to kind of like say face and go and go, okay, you know what? We we still have our ace leading the way. Do you think that's the case? I think New Japan want to like erase, eliminate that mm. negative image. Mm -hmm. So that's why, yeah, New Japan wants Tanahashi to be a uh, uh, president. I think it's uh, yeah. I I I think there is a possibility. I think. Hmm. Hmm. It it does it does look interesting, because yeah. and and especially I I I mentioned before I was shocked to see Nishizawa leave because. He okay. has been in New Japan for many, many years. Yeah, like twenty years. Yeah, like because like he he was he was he was in there during the Inoki period, and mm -hmm. you know for all these years, you know in in the bushy road on New Japan. Mm -hmm. So and you know honestly, at around sixty years old, it's not really that old to 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 work in management but you know the way that he steps down at this point um along with obari as well and mm -hmm. you know i i found it really interesting that that eva obari is like you know gone mm -hmm. just like yeah. that mm -hmm. do you think they they are taking some blames of the of the negativity so mm. kind of like the scapegoats. Do you think that's the case? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I I think a little bit. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. yeah. I think. Mm. And uh, I don't know why. Uh, he uh, they didn't say. Uh, on Wrestle Kingdom. Kingdom. Why yeah. now? You know, after yeah, like uh, January fourth in Tokyo Dome, mm -hmm. if New Japan announce mm -hmm. Tanahashi will be next to the president, mm -hmm. it's a big news, right? Yeah, it will be a bigger news. Yeah, yeah. But why? the way the way that it came out this time of the year, yeah. Why they I don't know. It, it's not like they're gonna help Bushiroad stock. I mean, I mean, New Japan 
in all honesty, is a very, very small subsidiary mm. for for Bushiro. Mm. So, you know, the way that it was announced is just weird, especially just before Christmas as well. Mm. But New Japan want to have many audience to come to Tokyo Dome, I think. That's why. Well, I'm not going this year. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going. And I've been going to pretty much every single one except for the ones uh, during COVID. But this time around, I'm just not going. No, oh, really? Yeah, it, it yeah. and 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 I have people ask me like, "Oh, why you don't go and whatever?" And I, I said, "Look, you you look at the the core talents in New Japan. It's probably the smallest in in recent years. Really, you think so? I think so. Yeah, in terms of in terms of like big name talent pool, mm. like you know." When you were young lion in New Japan, it was already taking a big hit mm. at the time because you know with with um with outside uh, uh scandals that affected New Japan at the time, mm. and also um also with with Muto left and and uh, uh Hashimoto left. Hashimoto was a was a really big one for me, but even that it wasn't really as big as what it is right now with the amount of people leaving. Mm. You know, so and it, and it showed and it showed on the show, like even um this last January at Wrestle Kingdom. I I felt it just wasn't the same. So you know, even you know, even though there's big match of of uh Brian Danielson and and Okada, and and almost other matches like a ten match card, and honestly, it's tiring to watch ten matches card, especially like four and a half five hours. At the dome. Yes. Like towards sure. the end, I was like, I was like falling asleep already. I was like, "Good lord, I can't, I can't deal with this." Yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, I mean that that's why I decided. Okay, you know what? I would rather go to watch the tag league, which mm. I actually had fun watching at Koraku. Ah, uh, Koraku Hall. Yeah, it it mm. it was fun watching at Koraku Hall, but <clears throat> but you know. Watching at the dome is just like, oh man, I just don't want to do it. Just can't. Yeah, so many audiences, it's too long. You know, good show, yeah. but it's too long. Yeah, that many people say. Yeah, and I, and I look at the card. I mean, you know, there are some friends that are going to be wrestling. You know, guys like TJ, uh, TJP is going to be there, and a couple of others are going to be there. But at the same time, I'm just like, I I'm mm. not motivated of of going, mm. you know. Whereas before, I would be like, "Oh yeah, let's go to Wrestle Kingdom and stuff." But yeah, that 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 whole aura is just gone for me. No, I mean, it's like, yeah. I mean, if if Chono sound come out from retirement and and go, okay, you know what? Let's wrestle one more time at the Dome for mm. Wrestle Kingdom. I'll be like, hell yeah, I'll go. Yeah, you know, you know how big of a mark I am to Chano Sanzo, you know. Yeah. Then, 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah. This time, I just, uh, I just really can't think of it. Like, yeah. think, think of any reason for me to go. Other you than the not... fact that I'll probably end up having lunch with you at at Coracoon. That that's yeah. probably it. That may be the only reason you get me going. Yeah. <laughs> Friday again, Fridays. Oh God, no! Can we go somewhere else? That oyster place was nice. Yeah, I was gonna chime in. It's got to be Fridays. Friday. Oh God, Lee, no. Um, uh, yeah, but let's jump into the next bit, Lee, shall we? 
uh, Zach Sabre Jr. He it. mentioned something about not leaving, um, uh, not leaving New New Japan at this point. Uh, he spoke with Tokyo Sport and mentioned mentioned the following. I can only guess he feels he needs a new challenge and is healthy to wrestle. He's talking about Zach, uh, Will Ospreay. Um, and and he mentioned he was like he there's a lot that he still haven't done, which he hasn't won the G1 Climax, he hasn't won the IWGP War Heavyweight title, he hasn't main defend the Tokyo Dome. So he said this is his next goal. Now, I think that's where the translation was wrong. I think he was mentioned this is the next goal for uh for him in 2024 rather than the next 24 years. Um yeah, so honestly, what do you think about Sex Able Jr. not leaving? I think he want to be either GP champion. He yeah. want to get G1 climax. Mm -hmm. That's why. Do do you feel that that you know from what he's saying now? Do you think New Japan is going to be putting a lot on his back? Mm. Now, now that you know, he's probably the only tough foreigner that is relatively younger. Mm. Because you know, Tama is my age, and he doesn't show up in in New Japan much lately. On the Japanese shows, yeah, uh, and and I don't know what's going on with Tangaloa after his injury, his mm. uh, uh, Thomas' younger brother. So, mm -hmm. um, the I mean, Farley is focusing on the New Zealand dojo. Mm. So, so there, there really isn't that many, um long stay New Japan stars mm. gonna be wrestling regularly at the show other than possibly Zack Saber Jr. Mm. So you know if you were booking New Japan right now would you put a lot on Zack Saber Jr. and and push him heavily or would you push uh maybe someone like uh David Finley along with you know, some of the original LA Dojo boys. Mm. I feel uh like new like a new Japan lab from Zack Saber Jr. So mm -hmm. if I'm Booker, mm. so the foreigner wrestlers who likes Japan and New Japan. Yeah, I want to push him. Mm. Yeah, of course, he needs a good skill. Mm. If he has enough skill, good skill, I will push him. Yeah. I think it's important. Mm. Like Japan and like New Japan, why not? Mm. I think it's important because if the one for the wrestler likes New Japan and Japan, mm. audience want to cheer them. Mm. You know? That's yeah. why. I mean they they did they loved Kenny Omega. Yeah. When when, you know, for the years that he was in New Japan. Um I feel right now the style that Zack Sabre Jr. is something that that um the whole wrestling scene is missing because mm -hmm. the way you know the all the ground based stuff, all of the, the submission stuff that that he rely on, mm -hmm. you don't see a lot of that style in even you know whether in in American wrestling. Um, mm. or, or, you know, European wrestling scene or even Japanese wrestling scene. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Very unique, unique style. Very unique. Yes. Yeah. 
it's been a long time. Lee, what's since... next for us? Well, I was gonna say it's been a long time since uh we've actually seen like a, a true technical wrestler like Zack Saber Jr. I'm, you know, I go back to like guys like Dean Malenko. I think mm-hmm. names like that, you know, but Bret Hart was a technical wrestler. Uh, yeah, they're better than Zack Saber, I think. Hmm. Yeah. They're yeah, Dean Malenko. Hmm. Yeah, was yeah, crazy wrestling skill. Yeah. It's just like a a style that you don't really see anymore. Mm. I mean, I'll be straight and honest, you know, after, I would say probably after winning Regal, you know, you, you just didn't see that style much. Mm. You know, I mean, there, there were a couple of guys here and there, but, you know, nothing close to Zack Sabre Jr., I would say. But he's smart. He take the like a vacant spot. Mm. Yeah, he's smart. Yeah, mm. I should I should have taken his his uh ring one jacket with me, you know, on the show today and just like wear it because I I I I have it somewhere. I put it to the side. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, but. He he is probably, I would say, in recent years. I mean, I, I you know what I really want to see one day, Zack Saber Junior. going against Gunther. Mm. That will be an interesting matchup. Who go who? Gunther, who? Gunther in uh in in WWE. Oh, okay. Yeah, formerly Walter, Walter. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, Yoshi, it's time for that ECW fantasy draft pick. Now, in the yeah. first ECW draft pick, Yoshi picked Matt Stryker to be on the commentary yeah. team. Yeah. Yoshi. Who are you picking for this week's ECW draft, and what's their role? Mm. I want to pick Christian. Christian Cage. Mm. Yeah, he's All right. Like, yeah, he's like my one of my mentors in ECW. You know. Yeah. I did not he know was, that. He, I, I would say he's probably very um, underrated in terms yeah. of, of you know, a wrestler. I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah he's smart. He has good techniques. And he has, of course, Captain Charisma. He has charisma, you know. And uh, we, do, we drive together a couple of times when we are in ECW. Yeah, yeah, we we talked a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's my father is teacher, school mm. teacher, uh, elementary and the, no, no elementary, the junior high mm-hmm. school teacher. Then his father, too. Oh, okay, yeah, so wow. our father is. Was our our father was school teacher, so hmm. yeah, we like how should I say we we have sympathy. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Any road stories with Christian? Yeah, um, yeah. One, one like a crazy. Crazy driver, yeah. She, yeah, woman, woman's crazy driver. Mm. So, like, close to our car, the Christian uh, was driving. Then he like this. Then we like uh, we es- like we escape. We yeah, 
So if Christian don't uh, like escape, mm -hmm. maybe the car was hit, you know. Then, but the after that we stopped the signal, right? The this crazy woman opened the window. Then she said something like complain to us. You know, we. I, I can imagine. I can imagine now. It has to be the woman was screaming, "You assholes! You yeah, shouldn't be yeah. driving like this, you assholes!" You know, it'll be like, yeah, this, yeah. right, like that. <laughs> then, yeah. So, if say that, we say that. We should say that because she crossed close to us. You know, we are. Yeah, we didn't do anything bad. You know. We should say that, but she said to us, you know, hearing blah, 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 blah. then Christian said, Hey, the very bad word to the the woman. That that was interesting. So I yeah, I I should this side, right? Then mm. this side is Christian. Then Christian say the woman is this side. Then Christian say blah, 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 blah. very very bad word, like a cartoon, <laughs> like a movie. So that was very interesting. He's a, yeah, he's a man. I, I wanted okay. to know what what Christian actually say to that woman. You 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 know, I can I can imagine that exchange now. Yeah. It's like, you know, a screaming woman and Christian probably just on the side. Just, just doing yeah. that, like, like yeah. you know, you bitch. <laughs> so yeah, it's like that. Right back. <laughs> shut, shut up, shut up. up. Keep screaming, shut the fuck up. Stuff like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then, I, then woman said something. Mm -hmm. Then Christian said something again. <laughs> that, that I'm was not the, surprised. Yeah, that was interesting, you know. I, I'm really not surprised. Yeah. But on a um, more serious note, mm -hmm. you know, I, I know that we are um, transitioning into somewhat a little bit more serious note. Uh, one of your mentors mm -hmm. in um, New Japan, Osamu mm -hmm. Kido, passed away just before Christmas. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um and and I know you had a tremendous bond with him. Mm, so was... yeah, mm. I mean I mean he was very well known as one of the badasses in the ring in Japanese wrestling ring. Like you know he wasn't someone that that people would want to fuck with. So yeah, what what was some of your memories with him? Okay, actually, so I and Shinsuke Nakamura and uh, Hiroki Goto mm. and uh, Ryusuke Taguchi, mm. we were the first student of Osamu Kido. Yeah, so we are we are the first one. Then uh, yeah, he's first time coach. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah so we run a lot of old school style mm -hmm. not only techniques like uh, mm -hmm. here like mentality mm -hmm. so that's why I think we we are the last old school wrestlers I think mm -hmm. after that after our generation so it's a new style, like a new kids, like same as now, mm. you know. So we are, yeah. Oh, uh, the end of old school. End of an era, yeah. Yeah, the era. Yeah. So, mm. what was his training style like? Was he like one of those screaming, like, really yeah. getting in your face type? Yeah, not much because his the his personality is he's like quiet quiet man. Mm. 
Mm. So, but it's a very, uh, very old school. So that time, 2002, so the New Japan Dojo was very old. So, okay, we, I will check the world. Uh, the dojo was made by it's the old one right yeah old one old one yeah and it got the, the the one that got flooded afterwards like do you know prehab prehab house Brehart, yeah. yeah yeah so yeah so 2002 the old japan ah, no, no no new japan dojo was mm -hmm. prehab house so, oh okay yeah yeah so when in the in the summer it's a very hot the in winter it's very cold hmm. then okay no yeah very, the we we start training end of march the little by little getting hot right hmm. then so Tito didn't permit to open the window. Mm. All doors shut it. Then no no drink. The, Good Lord. Yeah. So young guys, green boys practice uh, is like three or three and a half hours straight. Mm. 10 a 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. or 1 30 something. Mm. Sometimes 2 p.m. The the inside the degrees right is uh no it's a in Japan it's a Celsius yeah so please please exchange you, you check uh, yeah I I'm on the phone now okay okay like how should I say thermography is uh, yeah thermography is like a uh, the limit is uh, 50 Celsius. 50? Yeah, the, the max max is 50 Celsius. Yeah. How much is the uh, degrees? Good Lord. 50? Hold on, let me check. I need to check that and find out. Man. Okay, so it was 50, yeah, yeah, 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, so this is a max. Hmm. In the summer, the sun growth is max. 50, 50 Celsius, 122 oh, degrees in the summer in the inside of Prehab House, New Japan Dojo. That's crazy, right? Now they have now they have air conditioning, right? Now, now they have air conditioning, but yeah. no, nothing. Even yeah, the, the old the old ones, I I know they didn't have it because I was I was told before it was like it was extremely rough. So there were only a small fan, couple of small fan and mm -hmm. dojo, but Kido can't permit. He didn't permit user mm -hmm. fan. Mm. Open open window, nothing. Yeah. Close the window. Yeah. Don't hey, don't use fans. Nothing. Mm. No air conditioning. Fifty. Wow. Yeah. One hundred twenty-two uh, degrees in dojo. That's crazy, right? Then, no drink water. Nothing. Mm. No drink water. Then three or four hours. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then. Yeah, so no wonder that, you guys had such good bodies at the time. Yeah, so every day like one uh five hundred to one thousand Hindu squat. Mm. Then so many push ups. Yeah. yeah. So so many rope work. So many yeah. Yeah, yeah so many things, you know. Did you he know, stretch uh, you guys in the ring? Because yeah. he, he was known to be one one of the one of the biggest submission stylists in in wrestling. 
Yeah, so like after two or two and a half hours that that kind of training, mm. then like one hour shoot training, wrestling. Good lord! Straight up shoot. Yeah, after oh, that, like, like one hour. That's crazy, right? Every day. So right before debut, like before two months, we never take bump nothing mm. the old style way old style just yeah. hit the squat push ups yeah like a rope yeah cram, cram the rope only use mm. the hand mm. then up and down mm. up and down not one time many mm. times very old school you know then no no take bump nothing mm. The before two months, take bump and rope work. Then yeah, always shoot sparring. So, comparing to to uh, Osamu Kido's training, okay, yeah. to some of the I, I'm sure you have been to different dojos that that you in Japan, you know the last the last close to like 10 years, I'm sure you have seen a lot of training. Are mm. they as tough as what Osamu Kido used to train you guys? Yeah, I've never seen. Mm. I've never seen. That was, uh, yeah, the most. That's uh, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah. Not not even not even any of the 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 WWE training that you have had no, was no, close no, to no. that, right? Hmm. No, no cross, no even cross. No, hmm. it's very very hard. The situation is very hard. You know, I told you hmm. to one hundred twenty two hmm. degrees, shut the door, no fans. Hmm. That's hmm. crazy. Then we always like our after. Start training like two hours, like one hour or something. Mm. Okay, like the the hand and the mm. foot is like mm. a little bit, little bit now. <laughs> of course. Yeah, and the, like yeah. like dizzy like this. Yeah, because yeah. because you you get dehydrated. Yeah, hydrated. Then sometimes. Yeah. So Taguchi told me, hey, hey guys, I don't want to sleep, but <laughs> I'm <get> closing. <laughs> hey Taguchi, fight. no, don't hey, don't die, don't die. <laughs> fight. Don't sleep. Fight, fight. I told them. Mm -hmm. The one guy, he was a professional volleyball player, he quit, mm -hmm. already quit wrestling. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> then oh. yeah i'm a little bit numb little by little mm. Mm. yeah ah. then this is a like of course this is a hydration you mm. know yeah. yeah no no drink water mm. yeah so it's hard very very hard there that was yeah it's like hell. <laughs> yeah. Do Do you think Do you think with uh Osam Kido's training style, mm. do you think it will work in wrestling training today? I think so. So mm. if yeah, they do Osam Kido's training, so. They will get like stronger heart. Mm. When I feel sometimes, yeah, life is hard, right? Mm. Yeah, sometimes I'm very disappointed and uh, mm. yeah, very sad, yeah, mm. very pain painful, right? Mm. But I, when I feel so, I always remember. Kido's mm. training. Mm. Yeah, I I did. Like, how should I say? I passed that training 
I was、mm. able to pass the training,、mm. I can do everything.、Mm. Yeah, so I, I always thinking, my mind is so.、Mm. Yeah, very hard time is coming. It's okay, I can do. I can, I can pass because I did Kido's training. That's what I always thinking.、Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so I, yeah, I very ab- appreciate to、mm. Osam Kido. Yeah.、Mm. Yeah, he, yeah, he m a k e us strong.、Mm. Mm. Very strong, especially here.、Mm. Both body and mind, in fact, I would, I would、yeah. say, because、uh, that's why there's a lot of these p e r c e p t i o n In modern、mm. day wrestling, that that the newer generation of、mm. wrestlers are not as tough as the wrestlers before.、Mm. Because you just based on the training alone, I、mm. don't know if many wrestlers we see today can last, you know, with that type of rigorous training.、Mm. Yeah. Lee, what do you think? Yeah, I'm an old school fan. I will say 100% that training back then was definitely a lot harder. Best examples, aside from New Japan Pro Wrestling's dojo, would some great examples Stu Hart's Dungeon,、mm. WCW、mm. Power Plant. Yeah. I understand the WCW Power Plant was. Uh, very, very tough and rough, and uh, very much like uh, how Yoshi is describing、mm. training for, for New Japan.、Yeah. Um, they even showed like vignettes like on WCW Nitro and stuff like that、uh, of the training. And you know, um, you had uh, oh god, what was his name? The general there, uh,、um, the Lee Parker, Dwayne Bruce, or whatever his name was, his real、yeah. name. Um,、yeah. the Sarge or whatever he went by as an actual wrestler. Uh, I mean, he's up in your face yelling, and those guys were sweating and, and everything. And uh, I think even if you look, there were so, like in the vignettes, there were like a couple of like highly popular wrestlers in there. And if I'm not mistaken, one of them was actually Goldberg. If you、yeah. go back and you look in like the early nitros. Where, like, they show the power plant and stuff.、Hmm. Um, I think it's just also a difference in generation where in the locker room you had guys like Arn Anderson and Sid Vicious fighting and stabbing each other <laughs> yeah. with scissors. Yeah. And, and now you have wrestlers signing、uh, NDAs,、yeah. not being able to talk about what happened in the locker room now. So.、Oh, Lord. I, I would say, I would say that the just like anything, like when my, my dad says, Oh, your, your generation doesn't know how to work, or you know, this、mm-hmm. it's a generational thing.、Mm-hmm. I think that older generations worked harder to kayfabe everything,、mm-hmm. I think they worked harder to uh keep. The business secret's a secret. I think they、mm. trained harder because it was a different style.、Mm. Uh, and it also wasn't about, you know, move after this move, that move, this move, that move. They used ring psychology within their matches, within their promos,、mm. everything like that. And I, I think that's a, a lost art almost. And You go back and you look, and at least from my eyes, man, you kind of wish wrestling went back to the way it used to be. Agree. Um, so, yeah, it's, I would have, I'd have to say that the older generations definitely had to train harder. They weren't, they weren't catered to with air conditioning, or, you know, Yoshi's talking about going three hours nonstop with doing a one hour shoot. You know,、mm-hmm. that's, a, that's a lot. So, I mean, 
nowadays. I mean, I, I, I'm surprised that that Yoshi could even stand after after all those training, like you all know, right. doing all these drills and stuff like that. Like, I, I, I'm surprised that you could even stand because yeah. I was wrong. Okay. Oh, oh God, here we go again. <laughs> I mean, I heard the temperature alone for the summertime inside, and I'm already yeah, like so I'm read, tapping read. out, like 122 degrees. Uh uh yeah. no. Read, read, please listen. So, I did like a very strange, strange experience that dojo. So inside the in the summer, like July or August, the inside is. Prehab house, Prehab dojo, 122 degrees, right? Mm -hmm. Then after the practice, uh, go outside, right? The outside is even like 96 degrees something, right? Then like 30 degrees difference, right? Looks like 30, yeah. Degrees difference. So after the practice, open the dojo door, right? It in the mid yeah, in the mid summer, July or August, but open the door the in the moment like like this. It's crazy, right? It's <laughs> yeah. Crazy experience, you know. Ooh. 30 degrees difference. That's crazy world. Yeah. It's definitely weird to he hear somebody say 96 degrees felt cold. Yeah. Wow. Oh, only in a you, moment. You, right? you won't even feel that if you are, you won't even feel like that if you came out from a desert. I honestly, I don't think this will happen. But, yeah. but you know, it, it's crazy. Yeah, only one, one or two seconds, but crazy, right? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe that. Yeah, after that, uh, New Japan uh, give us permission to take shower, right? After the, yeah, after, right after the practice, then we drink shower, shower water. Yeah. Yeah. I, so, I wouldn't even have last two minutes. Yeah. We, That's what I'm doing, saying, right? We're doing shower like, water. Sean, could you imagine like this generation like of stars like training like that? They will be complaining about inhumane conditions. And then they will be on the press and go, "Oh, wrestling is so, uh, is so inhumane. You treating you treating the trainees like animals." Yeah. You know. So Inoki san told us, "Be strong. And then get angry. Yeah, always." Hmm. In Inoki hmm. told us. Be strong. That's why that's why you see those fire like from you know, even when you guys were like young lions. Yeah. And and you know, comparing to now, you know, you look at the guys and like Yeah, it, it, it's missing. It's like, you know, the 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 whole it, it's like, you know, you guys were hungry. We could see it, like, you know, you can sense it from the TV. And and it's comparing to like now, you know, some of the the um the young lions I see, you know, it's just kind of like it they're, they're like a couple of them that that to me they just look like they're happy to be there. Mm. You know, it it's really different. Like, you know, Lee, if you go back and look at the early two thousands stuff, you know, when, when Yoshi and a couple of the others were young lions. You could see, like, you know, they were like, okay, you know what? It's on. They were, like, getting serious in the ring. But if you look at some of the young lions now, they, they're they like, oh, I'm here. Yeah. That's it. It's so different. 
Yeah. Inuk says always, wrestler should be strong. Be strong. Get angry. Yeah. That's it. So now, yeah, new young Ryans, you very technical and good body. Mm. But I don't feel they are angry. Yeah. And uh, they don't I have don't... that spirit in mind. That's that's what I would say. Yeah. I don't feel strong, stronger. Mm. Yeah. From them. Mm. And angry. Yeah. Interesting. You... Yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm old school versus new school any day of the week. So, yeah, I, so you, you guys may not think so, but when I, I'm in the ring, I'm on the ring, always think, okay, if I'm Antonio Inoki, what should I do? Something. I think on the ring always. Yeah. So if I'm sometimes I smile something in the ring, but still I do. So yeah. So this is uh, my own style. I'm not Antonio Noki, so I think uh, so difference is okay, but hmm. yeah, Inoki san told us don't smile on the ring, don't show you what teeth on the ring mm. yeah mm. but i do but, yeah but but admire. but even that yoshi but mm. even that though you you know the 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 way that that you guys look at your opponent is that is that glare mm. that that you guys have i mean go i, I would say going from from the group that you guys were in all the way back to the first group of guys that came out back in 1972, you mm. all had one thing very similar. And it's that way that you guys look at your opponent in the ring, that glare. I feel I don't see that in a lot of the wrestlers anymore in a Japanese ring. That makes a big difference. Mm. So, yeah, that, you know, that's even that tiny little bit, it is the lost art. Yeah, mm. but small thing, but it's big, big difference and very important. Absolutely agree. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that. And, you know, guys, uh, speaking of catering, if you will, to wrestlers and this younger generation of stars, Kevin Nash, WWE Hall of Famer, uh, spoke on the topic of catering in pro wrestling on his podcast, Click This Podcast, where Nash... Uh, spoke to spoke about his time in WWE and WCW and his experience on the road and how the lack of food and catering indicated to him that the business was not doing well. So I'm going to share this with you guys real quick. So this is what Kevin Nash had to say. Catering is always an indicator of how things are at the company. It was pressed chicken and baked ziti with maybe a tossed Greek salad. I don't think WCW had anything when I was there a few years prior. Also, I didn't live on the road for 30 days. Uh, you go to face-to-face, -to -face, be there at 11 on Monday, do that until 6, then go to the Manhattan Center, shoot the Raws. I'm talking press waffle house chicken breast and fucking dry ass noodles and some marinara sauce ragu with a fucking heat lamp on it. We were in Stanford and we were at the studios. We were drinking that Ico pro shit. 
and eating those IcoPro bars, one thing we weren't going to get was fat because we were at such a calorie deficit. So, Yoshi, yep. I got to ask, mm. how was catering back in the day with WWE? The <clears throat> the catering of WWE, so our our generation or our era is very good. Yeah. So, but one time, so WWE, when WWE start, uh, WWE network. So, <clears throat> you know, WWE network is like a, okay, we start WWE network, then the the topics then gone then after a couple months okay we start the the network then so it's not easy to start the network i think mm -hmm. then once the finally like these things like two years i think so they started WWE Network, I think, 2014, right? I think. So they start talk, talking about uh, WWE Network, start like 2011, something. Then always they talk, then gone. They talk, then gone, something like that. Then finally, they start, I think, 2014. Or things, something like that. Then they originally talked about the starting of of um the network back in 2012, and it was launched on February 24th, 2014. Right. So yeah, tec technically start 2014, right? Mm. So they start, then nothing start, nothing gone, yeah, like mm. that. Then after start uh, WWE Network, mm. then that was not good. Then so WWE had lots of data. Mm. Uh, WWE stock mm. is much going down. Yeah, it, right. it, it was falling yeah, quite you, a bit. Yeah, you remember? Yeah. Then, so after that, the catering is worse. Seriously, mm. I yeah, I think many restaurants feel like that. Mm. I feel that many restaurants has said so. Hey, catering's like this. Hey. Maybe WWE is not so good. The, maybe we get fired or something. Then I got fired. Mm. So I heard like 100 the workers, 100 mm. workers go fire. And uh, so I got, I got fired with 12 wrestlers. I think mm. 12 or 14 restaurants, same day, yeah. we go fire. Mm. So the reason is WWE Network was bad. Mm. The WWE got to, uh, lots of data on the stock, it's, uh, mm. much going down. So that's why. So many restaurants and the workers cut. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that um, yeah. there were people talking about it and, and were like, oh, you know, the, the network is going to kill WWE. Yeah. That's why they're dropping wrestlers, they're dropping workers and, and things yeah. like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, at the start, they weren't doing well, not until they started doing it internationally. Mm. Then then things started to pick up again. Yeah, but, right. Uh, I do remember the stocks were going yeah. down quite a bit and it really hurt WWE in the beginning. The end of my WWE era, mm. catering, mm. 
is a content like this. I feel so. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, the the article. Yeah, I agree. Which company you work for? Okay, has the worst food. Okay, no Japanese restaurant company has catering.、Mm. So only Ameri American restaurant,、mm. but WWE is yeah like top top.、Mm. The some American India has catering, but not so good.、Mm. I think I don't remember CML. I think CML has. Catering, but not so good. I think.、Mm. I don't remember. They they may have, yeah, but、mm. not so good.、Mm. I mean, I know for one thing, most Japanese companies don't don't provide catering because I I would. I would see, I I would see wrestlers like you know try to get food first, and like eat, and then like rush to the matches and stuff like that.、Mm. Especially, especially if they're if they're wrestling Korakuen or or the Dome, that's what happens. And it's like you see everyone like running around like freaking crazy all the time around January. It's insane.、Uh, maybe only Wrestle Kingdom. Mm. Daniel Force has catering, I think.、Mm. But、uh, but recently, yeah,、mm. I think, yeah, the catering, the, the WWE catering was wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> save、yeah. you guys a lot of money too, right? On food. Yeah, yeah. The as much as. We want to eat, yeah. So, yeah, we can we can go three times, four times, five times. It's okay, no problem. Yeah, that was very good system. So when I gone up, gone up,、mm -hmm. WWE from FCW,、mm -hmm. I was very surprised. Yeah, wow, it's amazing, right? Like dream world.、Yeah. Who who was the biggest eater in catering? I don't know. Maybe me. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I yeah. I eat, hey. I want to eat this. I want to eat this. That. Yeah. Were you guys allowed to take like? Say for example, like you know, when when you guys when you guys were catering, like take some food with you for like a late night snack or something. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we can pick. The... I'm sure you probably have done that. No, no, no. I I didn't do this, <laughs> but one restaurant did. Then many restaurants made fun of him. Any names? Yeah,、uh, not、ah. no now. It's it's no no good for him, but the, it's hint. It it's crew. One crew is a he. I think he doesn't wrestling anymore. I think maybe he he retired. He he's big guy like this. Mm. ECW, ECW. No. Okay, okay. There, there, say... There's only there's only one. Yeah. There's only say... one. There's there's only one. I can't say the name, but yeah, you guys can imagine. But yeah. There, there's only there's only one there's only one big guy left、yeah. that that it's、know. alive can, from ECW. I can. I can say, I can say, but、right. he he has like, do you know jams? Jams is、mm -hmm. like a like bread jams.、Mm -hmm. Bread on the inside is、mm -hmm. like jam.、Mm -hmm. He pick 
a lot of jumps from catering. Mm. <laughs> Must and, be and, delicious. Yeah, jams and banana, I think. He took he took a lot a lot, I think. <laughs> then yeah, many wrestlers made fun of him. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So uh WWE had some good catering. That's yeah. Uh, at least at least I had that for for you. Like um like could you tell us like what f- kind of food? They had a catering. Yo, one more time, please. What kind of food they had at catering? Yeah, good for diet too. So, chicken breast. Yeah, I always eat. Uh, with salad, the on the chicken breast, and the red wine vinegar. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, always eat. Yeah, many things, many, like sometimes meatloaf. Yeah, Ooh. chicken, meatloaf, yeah, everything, pork, lots of protein. Hmm. Yeah. Well, now I'm hungry. It's, yeah, me too. <laughs> it, I need they're breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you should eat. So they yeah. are good food, good good food for diet. Hmm. Yeah, that like perfect everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. and well, jams. Your... <laughs> well, Yoshi, we got one more topic to to discuss here, and yeah. I'm gonna share my screen real quick so we can talk about this. Uh, where'd my thing go? Oh, it's because of that. So Yoshi, yeah, uh, Kurt Angle on his the Kurt Angle Show podcast uh, had a Q and A and discussed the taboo topic of Chris Benoit, and yeah. these were the comments he made. Uh, the thing is with Chris Benoit, you can't forget he has a son, a son still. Okay, the reason I talk about him so much is because of his son. Angle explained he has a living son right now. That thinks the world of his father. I mean, he's giving him. Uh, I mean, he's giving him for what he's done. There's no mm. excuse for what Chris had done, but mm. when you have a living human being that absolutely idolized his father, and you're going to say, "I don't want to talk about Chris Benoit because he's a piece of shit," mm. uh, and what he did to his family is horrible. Mm. What is that going to do for the kid? Mm. So, Angle obviously doesn't forget what Benoit did to his family, but refuses not to recognize that he was of the very best to step into the wrestling ring. And he said, a lot of the times when I talk about Chris, I get negative feedback on social media, but you can't excuse the fact that he was one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. You can't ignore Mm -hmm. that. It's still really difficult to do that. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't condone anything that he's done, but I know Mm -hmm. this. Chris was the best in-ring performer I've ever been in the ring with, and I can't Mm. lie about that. Mm. So, Yoshi, you had come in to WWE just a few months after Chris Benoit's death. Was Um, there... It's a before. So, right before I uh, went to like uh overseas training from mm-hmm. New Japan. Right before I uh I go to I went to America so I had Chris Benoit the uh like incident. So yeah. So Chris Benoit was in New Japan Dojo, you know, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh his name was Wild Pegasus. Or mm. uh, Pegasus Kid. Mm-hmm. So yeah, many older Japan, uh, New Japan wrestlers talked about him. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody say, said like, uh, "Shit." Yeah, he was very good guy. Why? Why? Many wrestlers said so. 
why he did crazy things why why he was very good guy nice guy good wrestler why why everybody says so I remember mm. when you In get Portugal. to WWE though when you get to WWE yeah um was that something that that WWE would tell you and go if people ask you about Chris Benoit don't talk about it I don't think so, but yeah, some wrestlers asked me about the uh, Pegasus Kid and Chris, uh, yeah, World Pegasus hmm. of New Japan. So I, I answered, but uh, I don't remember, but I don't think WWE said don't don't talk about uh, Chris Benoit. I don't think so. Mm. Yeah. But I saw his son in Canada. Mm. Canada show. The, he was in backstage of WWE. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I saw him. I talked to him, but yeah, looks like his face is looks like his father, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's he's tall, he's mm. tall and uh, already tall. He's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, many yeah people like uh, you know. It's very hard to show the ex expression, like. Uh, but everybody talked to him, but yeah, nobody talk about his father. Just say hello, something. Are you okay? Something, something. Mm. Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's yeah he's a good guy. Do you think um, right now WWE is it's kind of like, you know, basically the entire wrestling world is pretty much shying away from, from Chris Benoit, really. Like, nobody mm. really want to talk about Chris Benoit. Yeah, I know. Do, do, you, do you think do you think he should be like completely erased from wrestling history? Mm. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's difficult. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm agree with Kurt Angle. Mm. I I feel I think same thing. Yeah, mm. his his wrestling is amazing, right? His wrestling was amazing, and uh, yeah, he contributed the wrestling world, but a lot. But you know, mm. his yeah, his mm, yeah, his doing for his wife and his yeah kid that was horrible. I can't. Yeah, I can't forgive him. Mm. Like, same as Katwango, but mm, it's hard to say. Mm. Uh, but I understand that the real things. Uh, he wants to like completely eliminate about Chris Benoit, right? But I understand. Yeah, the real too. Mm. But it's hard, hard to say. Yeah, he's amazing wrestler. So mm. very sad. I, I think a, a lot of people, a, a lot of people, um, that there, there are a group of people that once you, whenever you bring Chris Benoit into a conversation, you always get two groups of people. One group, it's 
straight up that he was a horrible, horrible person yeah. for doing that to the kids. And then mm -hmm. there's this group, which I kind of feel I'm in, that, that, you know, I want to remember his matches mm -hmm. rather than what he did in his personal life. I think I think there's these two groups mm. that are that are you know and and I think um I, I talked to a few people in in the industry that that have have similar feeling mm. but there are also some that felt he for what he did he almost single-handedly took down wrestling as a business in in america i mean it was all over the news here mm. i mean like i don't even mean like just like you know your local news i mean this was fox news cnn and i mean it was talked about for days Mm. You know, all sorts of wrestlers like i remember deborah mcmichael was on cnn chris jericho mm. on cnn you know all these you know uh the mcmahons had even done uh a thing on the news i i can't remember like maybe it was like abc news or something like that but they they went on a network and, and talked about it and it's a very taboo subject with Chris, mm. you know, there's half of the fans still want to talk about his attributes in the ring, while the other half of the fans don't want to acknowledge him at all for what he had done. And I think it's always been something that's been very hard for fans and wrestlers alike to differentiate Chris Benoit in the ring to Chris Benoit not in the ring. Like I personally have never met the man, so it's hard for me to judge him. And the only thing as a person that I know about him is this, what he had done. Mm. You know, outside of the ring, I, I couldn't tell you anything about the man. I can tell you this, which is scary enough. So... It's a sad I mean, thing. There, there, there's this part of me, and and I, I have said it to to some figures collector before, that I I have been thinking about whether to approach his son to make his action figure, but then there's there's gonna be like this group of people that's gonna be like. That's gonna be like no, I'm not buying uh, all that. And then there's this group and like yeah, we'll buy it. You know, I mean, you know. So so to me, I I always have this somewhat of a dilemma of like thinking uh, whether you know should I approach should I approach his son for it? And you know, some collectors are for it, but there are some that are not. So I mean, I I I I've been thinking about this for the last year. And I still have not moved to even try to talk about, you know, talk to David Benoit about it. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll see. Hmm. Mm. Well, Yoshi, on a, uh, a different note, there's a video promo for you and we're going to watch it right now January 27th in Shenzhen MKW Bash at the Bay Free Big Sam is against Yoshi Tatsu this WWE reject who's now trying his luck over in China well your luck's going to run pretty short son because when you step foot in that ring with Big Sam you're going to find out exactly what I'm all about. As you can see here, I'm preparing myself very well. 
getting myself all jacked up and worked up and ready, feeling the pump. You're going to find out what this six foot four big British beast is all about. <laughs> and Yoshi, I want you to be on your A game. I want no excuses. I don't want you to talk about your neck that got snapped in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Because there's going to be more than your neck getting broken when you step in the ring with Big Sam and Jun Jun. I'm telling you now, Yoshi. My family have a history against the Japanese. And my grandfather used to bring the medals and trophies back to prove it. And I'm going to bring a trophy of my own for the family. And that trophy, Yoshi, is going to be your head. So get yourself ready, Yoshi. Because I certainly am. And I'll see you in January. And you'll soon learn that bigger is certainly better. Hey, Sam. If you want to with me, just practice in the Prehab Dojo, 122 degrees, and shut the door, no drink. After that. Hey, Pillsbury Doughboy. Big Dick Johnson called and won his wants his gimmick back. That's what he wants. You think having a woman to rub around your chest, you know, with your yeah. big belly and all, you think you think that's gonna be cool? You want to threaten to break Yoshi's neck? Come on, man, get on with the program. He's been recovering for a long time. Like it's all done. He's recovered. All right, get it straight. You want to break his neck? You just try and see what happens, man. I mean, you know, we, we got to move on to to the modern day now. All right, it's yeah. it's not it's not it's not back in, it's not back in the ancient times where the pyramid was built. You want to talk about freaking metals and all? Come on, like seriously. I mean, I mean, I mean, seeing that gets me hot, Yoshi. I mean, for him to even try to threaten to break your neck. Who the hell yeah. does he think he is? Yeah. He he looks at, he looks like a snowman being built, right? Because he's so he looks so fluffy. He's not even scary, man. Like yeah. what the hell? Just because he got a face looking like Dick Murdoch? Come on! And yeah. you guys haven't even seen this yet. His manager, Chairman Al. Oh my God, man! Had this freaking promo and like in the freaking church and praying and all. Yeah, you better be freaking praying because when Yoshi is kicking the crap out of Big Sam's head all around Shenzhen, that's yeah. when you should be praying because that's going to be his neck broken, not Yoshi's. Okay. That's all that's all we need to say. You you want you want a bit of this guy, man? Come on. You just try, man. Because it's not going to happen. That's it, right? Hmm. Yeah. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you go to youtube.com at Yoshi Unleashed. Watch all the previous episodes, all the great shorts. Thank you for all the new subscribers, all the comments, the likes. You guys rock. And don't forget, you can listen to Yoshi Unleashed on Google, Spotify, Amazon, and Red Circle. It's Yoshi Unleashed. Yoshi, take it away. Thank you for watching Yoshi Unleashed. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>